The following extract is from the book. Incredible Mr. Sweets, the coming of age story of an ex-con who finds his calling in life through music by Mr. Jasveer Singh Denjaye. Blurb. A mix of emotions ranging from happiness and excitement to being free to to confusion and maybe even fear welcomes society's wrath and people not accepting him. He might also feel lost because the world would have changed so much by the time he comes out of prison. This could all happen to anyone, but not Joe Sweets Resco. He is a tough nut to crack. And 34 years in prison couldn't break his spirit. Though he came out of prison burdened with guilt, he is ready to face the world head on. He will not let his guilt bend him down and let the world break his spirit. He's not only he's, he's not asking for a second chance from anyone. He's making a comeback. John Sweets Rusco was once a left hand man of William Rowery, the head of the notorious Rowery gang of Toronto. He aspires to be a singer. He's looking for a chance to make the most of his life. That is was it that is left. Considering he's 75 now, as he's got out of prison and joined the world, he didn't recognise anymore. He, all he wanted to do was to sing. The Credit Mr. Sweets is coming of age story. The Chronicles of X journey, Con's journey, becoming a singing star. The Credit Mr. Sweets it also highlights the identity crisis faced by immigrant children born in Canada. And here is the abstract. Freedom. The sheer magnitude of emotions a person goes through can be overwhelming when released from a small prison cell after a long time. John Rusko was no different. He too had the same anxiety. His mind was clouded with millions I doubt as the day release came closer. Ever since John was informed he was being pardoned and that he would be released six years earlier than his actual release date, he had been going through varied emotions, but he had been preparing for his release for a long time. John had made up his mind to make the most of his life left once he was released. Until the other aged prisoners Unlike the other age prisoners, he didn't want to just go out and retire an old age home. John wanted to make his parents proud. He wanted to achieve something. So the fact that day came six years earlier had sort of subsided every negative emotion and nervousness in him. It made him happy instead. John looked forward to his second chance. John was reading a quotation on a piece of paper his mother had given him. It was a sabab verse from Guru Garaf Simpeb Jai. His mother had given it to him when she came to meet him after he was convicted. It was a vision in Punjabi. John had been in prison for a long time. That piece of paper was all he had to remember. His mother and God Almighty John read it every day without fail. It read, God is created and claimed all over the world, is fruitful and rewarding to serve him. Lofty, infinite, invengeable is the Lord. All beings are in his hands. Nanak has entered the sanctuary of God. He is with me everywhere. His circle of protection is our life. Therefore, relieving the streets and anxiety, relieving the stress and anxiety, modern life and bringing calmness and sincerity in life. On Ang on Ang Para eight one nine of Sin Sarari Guru Graf Sabari Lojai, this divine Tate Wo Nay 
Lagare Shabad verse was written by Guru Aran Ajan Diva Jai. This Shabad is known to protect one's mind and body, bringing his circle of protection in, into our life. It's cited, Leo Joe jo asks, asks in his usual high volume. John was sitting on the lower bed of his prison cell, reading the so bad, bad. Now Joe was standing outside the cell with a broom, and the cell door was open for cleaning. John folded the paper, kept it on the bed, and looked up, took off his glasses, and found now Joe smiling at him. He smiled back. John was being pardoned and being released early because of his, because of his excellent behaviour and age. I guess so. I'm getting out of here today, John's, John said, as he got to hug Lao Joe. John then adjusted to be a piece of Lao Joe's hearing aid. Better, John says, smiling. The earpiece of Lao Joe's hearing aid mostly slipped out of his ear without him realising it. Lao Joe had been there for a long time as well. He had lost his right ear to a prison fight earlier, but while... Well, Diabetes slowly took away the hearing of his left ear. Everybody loved Dow Joe because he was their go between for everything they wanted in prison. He did many odd jobs, including stacking blocks in a prison library and cleaning. John was an avid reader. Lao Joe was his saviour. Dow Joe would provide him with the latest books to read. He also get to the small things done for the prisoners and the guards usually annoyed it because he was Dow Joe after all. Now Joe's a smooth talker. He can get his way with the guards. I'm going to miss your voice, sweets. And so will everyone else in this block. Now Joe said he got emotional. As he got emotional, John was nicknamed Sweets. He was known as John Sweets Rutschko in his circle. He had a powerful voice and was loved for his singing skills. Now you don't get emotional for me. You fool, John said, tickling Now Joe. I'm already going to miss you, sweets, Now Joe said. John said, John, John sees Dow Joe slowing his head, disappointment. He whistles at that, and that immediately puts a huge smile on Dow Joe's face. John firstly hummed along with Dow Joe, then sang the song a cellmate had written for him. His voice could lighten up any grim situation in prison. I have come too far. I want to get back to where it all starts. There was a line people fear to cross, a destiny they can't dare to choose. His voice resonated in the cell and created some good old vibes. John then started whistling as loud Joe continued to sing along with others in the neighbouring cells. Now I somehow managed, but I somehow managed to climb up the hills. Yes, I dream, chased my dreams. I miss the smell of that lily. I miss my mum's gift. Of that lily car. John stopped whistling and joined him. I had come too far. I've come too far now. And now. Suddenly he stopped singing as he felt a huge lump in his throat. He swallowed. There was silence in the, in the block. As the sound of his hiccup voice made everyone emotional. Ghostman Radio Station gives his book a five-star recommendation.